Welcome to SharePoint 6, Sharing and Permissions. I'm Trainer Lori. What's sharing? It's if you want to email a link to a list or a document, or if you want to share permissions to a site, library, or list. First, you simply copy the link. So in your navigation bar, you can copy the link that you have and open up an email and paste the link in. If you're on a list, just select the list, either in the side navigation bar or by clicking the name, and then click the list, then click the email a link, and that opens up your email and puts the link in it. Now, if you want, you can right click on it or hit Control K and turn that long link into a short link. If you're sending an URL link, then you don't need to open the URL, simply right click on the name. And one of your options is to copy a shortcut. And then you would have to create the email and paste that link. If you want to email a document link, you would select the document by clicking the check on the left side of the name and then clicking the ellipsis, the dot dot dot, on the right side of the name. And that will allow you to, to see the call out. And your link will be in there. Just simply copy it and paste it into an email. This one has been shortened. Open SkyDrive. You get six gigabytes of storage per user. You'll have a file folder in there that is shared with everyone and then everything else. So if you have a document outside that file folder, it is not shared with anyone. But if you drag it into the file folder, you can share it with anyone. You can also create more file folders in here and then just send a, a link or an invite to anyone and you could just share that folder with that other person. So you have multiple options. Permissions don't even show if you don't have them. You can see that there's another tab that doesn't show because I don't have the permission to see it. So let's say someone sends me a link and I have read permissions, then when I click the link, it's going to open that document in a web app. If I don't have permission, read permission, then it, this opens up. It says, let us know why you need access to the site. And uh, it, it, you can write in your message there. And when you send the request, it goes to the site owner or administrator who can change permissions for the site. It'll let you know it's thinking about it. <laughs> and then you may get the rejection. So who gets what? Well, a document receives its permission from the library. The library receives its permission from the subsite. See, it all flows downstream. And the subsite receives its permission from the site. The site owner determines permissions and can break or change permissions at any step along the way within their site. So if the site owner shares, they're going to actually change the permissions. But if the rest of us site members share, we cannot share outside our permission level. So who is it shared with? If you Select the document by clicking on the left side, then you'll see the ellipsis on the right side. Click it and you'll see the call out. And that call out, not only does it have the link in it, but now it says it's shared with lots of people. Well, that's a link, that hyperlink. So I click that hyperlink and I can see who it's actually shared with. I scroll down and I can see that one of the groups that it's shared with is everyone except external users. That is the default Catalina visitors group. And so that means everybody has a right to see it. So that means that I could then invite somebody to see that document. Now, as a site member, I'm simply sharing the link. If I were a site owner, then I would actually share or change permissions by sharing. So what kind of groups can we have? Well, we could have site owners. Those are responsible for the site and they make uh, changes. The site members, they can add, edit, and delete documents and post information. And then there might be a secured group. Now, this is optional, but they could be somebody like a um, manager who just wants to share with um, their team or uh, just between managers. And then site visitors. They only see and maybe download what the team is creating. And then you can also have custom groups. You'd have to determine who would have permissions in those as an administrator. In the library tab, you'll have the option to email a link. And when you do that, it actually opens up Outlook and puts the link in there. You can also share in a web app, in this case, Word. And you just click on 
the web app and you can see the word share there. You can also click your ellipsis and see the option for share. You can share from the files tab by selecting the, the document first and then clicking the files tab and then clicking share. That will open up an email and put the link to that document in it. Now if you want to share with someone outside the company, they must have a PAL account. You must see your system or site owner for a PAL account. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.